everyone welcome to my birthday weekend vlog here in New York I am so excited I can't wait to spend quality time with Lyle and my friends and then next week I'm gonna see my family so yeah the plan for this weekend is today is Friday so tonight Lyle and I are going to dinner at monkey bar which I'm really excited about the food is supposed to be really good there it's been on my list for a while and then tomorrow I'm going to be prepping for hosting an afternoon tea on Sunday so my big birthday plan with my friends this year is I'm actually going to be hosting them at my apartment for an afternoon tea so this is like a vision I've had in my head for a while now where I'm like oh I'm gonna make little mini tea sandwiches and scones and get some macaroons and decorate and make everything pink and it's just gonna be so much fun so I'm gonna take you guys with me on the whole thing so before we jump into that, I wanted to tell you about Comfily. As many of you know, when I have done many an outfit haul or outfit inspo on this channel, there is one thing I feel like I've been lacking, and that is finding the right bra. There have been a few comments on my videos saying, Taylor, I love you, but please find a good bra. And I totally agree. I do have a larger bust, so finding the right bra that's comfortable and looks good under my clothing is really important for me to feel my best every day. Comfily reached out to me, which means that they are sponsoring this part of the video, and I really liked their brand message because their mission is to support women's health, comfort, and confidence. They provide wire-free, seamless bras. I love wireless bras because they are so comfortable to wear, but I always feel like with a wireless bra, I don't always get the amount of support that I need. But with these, I still feel like I have enough support and I am comfortable to wear them all day. So I have three bras to show you. This is the Zero Gravity bra. You guys know I love anything pink. So this one is a must. It has a jelly support system which lifts the bust and keeps everything in place. The side wings of the bra are higher on purpose because they provide more support for your back and breast tissue. This one is the Airlight bra with scalloped edges. This has 3D stretching molded cups which just fit to your body perfectly. The inner lining has ventilation holes which are very smooth and airy against the skin and great for warm weather. And the scalloped edges are just so cute. This one is the Airlight Color Block Bra and I love how this one has a little bit more of like a sporty feel to it. It is so lightweight, it has a barely there feel to it, but it doesn't compromise on the support. For a side-by-side -side comparison, here is me with a regular bra on and then me with one of the Comfily bras on. And you can just see the difference in like the shape and the support. And if I jump up and down, <laughs> I feel a lot better in the Comfily one. I've always been confused why regular bras are built the way that they are and why someone hasn't thought of a better way to make them more comfortable and just like fit into women's lives better. When it comes to bras, there's just so many pain points that we as women have to deal with that these bras I feel really help with. One is breast swelling. So throughout the day, we swell, we change, we move a little bit and with a regular wired bra that's just in one place it doesn't really adapt with our bodies all day wire bras also tend to shift out of place they really restrict your movement i'm sure everyone here has experienced one of them just like daggering into you which can be quite painful these are the opposite of painful i honestly am so comfortable in these and i'm so glad that i discovered this like this i feel like has changed the game for me for bras like wearing this on a work day if i'm traveling on a plane this is the bra i'm gonna reach for when i'm traveling for the holidays i could sleep in this bra i don't sleep in bras but it really is just that comfortable it's not pinching or poking in any way and i can just tell that like i can breathe in it i feel comfortable and i can move in it they also hold their shape really well you can tell i'm just holding them here on my arms you can see that the cups are holding their shape you can put them in a suitcase versus a regular 
wired bra with the cups it's going to lose its shape over time in the wash when you're traveling with it etc but these ones fold up really nicely really small and then they hold their shape just the right amount of support that's pressure free which is very breast friendly it fits well with the natural contours of your body and it looks really nice under shirts as well comfortably uses up to 43 percent spandex which is above the industry standard of only 15%. So it has a very good elasticity and shape, which gives it that comfort. They're also Oko Tex certified, which means that they meet rigorous standards. They're safe for long-term wear. They're free of any harmful substances and they're super gentle on the skin. I just, whoever made these, I feel like they're really made with women in mind and meant to prioritize our well-being. But anyways, <laughs> given that 98% of my audience is women, I thought that this would be useful for you guys to know about, especially since <laughs> we have to wear these, one of these things, every day of our lives, so it might as well be comfortable. But all of the product names and links will be in the description box, as always, along with my discount code. Alright, so it's the evening now. I finished up work, got all ready for dinner, and we're going to my birthday dinner. Lyle and I are going to Monkey Bar. I'm really excited. I just wanted to show you my outfit real quick. So this is what I'm wearing. It's the Odd Muse dress that I got at the pop-up. I just love the shape of these dresses. I love how the skirt comes out like this. And then the halter top. And then I styled it with <laughs> these polka dot tights only because my other tights are all in the laundry, so I need to wash them. Um, and then I have these shoes from Zara, just some pointy toe pumps. <clears throat> I am using my YSL shoulder bag tonight. I did a red lip, my gold plain Marjorie earrings, and then a black bow. In my hair so yeah very sophisticated evening look guys good morning it is Saturday morning now and the dinner last night was amazing the food was so good we got the crab ragoons as an appetizer which are something that they're known for they're really good there and I just like crab ragoons so we had to get them we also got the Caesar salad which was okay in my opinion it was a little bit different some people might love it <clears throat> it just wasn't my thing and then we got what did we share? We shared a filet mignon and a lobster pasta. And then we got this like big ice cream sundae with all these little toppings around it for dessert. It reminded me of Home Alone. And they also gave me a little ice cream and a slice of the carrot cake for my birthday. And I got to blow out a candle. So it was really nice, really cool like vibes in there. French, um, like Moulin Rouge type vibes. And a lot of the people were dressed up, which I love. I love, like, when I get to go to a restaurant where all the girls are dressed up and I don't feel like I have to be super casual, it actually feels like something special. So I liked that a lot and I loved, like, the decor and the mood lighting and everything. Anyways, I have no makeup on. I'm in a robe. I'm about to get ready. I am about to head to uptown to do, shoot the intros for Vlogmas. So some of the intro shots for my Vlogmas. And I'm meeting up with a videographer. So before I go, I was just about to <laughs> pull out and unbox because I some of these odd muse outfits. This is where I left off in the last vlog. I wasn't feeling so well. I'm feeling better now. Everything is all good. I just had 
a short little cold there during the work week this week, but everything is all good now. But anyway, so yeah, before I pull these out, I promised you guys I would show you what I got. I have to leave in like 20 minutes. I have to do my makeup really quickly in my hair. So I'm not going to do a try on. I did already do the try on in the mirror in the last vlog, which I will leave the link up above here if you didn't see that one. But let me show you what I got. All right, first thing is the beige colored corset top that has these embellishments on them it's so beautiful with this black very like ballooned out skirt it has tulle underneath which really gives it that bouncy shape and yeah i just love this so this is what i'm going to wear this morning for the first shot that we're going to get. And then I got two other things which definitely need to be steamed. One is this dress. I think I might wear this to dinner again tonight with Lyle. We're going to a place that we love in Brooklyn that does seafood and it's amazing. This is the fitted maxi dress that's long sleeve and it's this beautiful like beigey color and it comes all the way up to the neck it's really pretty and elegant definitely need to wear heels with this though because it is very very long and i'm 5'7 so i'm decently tall um so i guess that's something to note if you are um <laughs> on the shorter side you will definitely need to get this hemmed this is the other dress so this also is a contender for tonight this is the cap sleeve dress in the white color and yeah, it's really pretty. It's got the little pockets. I love that this is like a white dress that you can wear in the winter time because of the fabric. It's not linen or anything like that, like a summer fabric. It's just, actually, what is this fabric called? Oh, it's polyester, rayon, and spandex. So that doesn't really tell us that much, but it's just not a summery fabric. So yeah, and I was thinking this with a pair of tights and heels. So yeah, that's a little odd muse haul. Okay, so back at my apartment now. I know we just skipped over it, but I want to save it for Vlogmas because it's just going to be so magical and it's going to be worth the wait, I promise. I am so excited about all the shots that we just got. I really felt like I got to bring my vision to life. Melissa, the videographer that I worked with, was so nice. She just let me run with my ideas and my creativity and she was so like, yeah, yeah, sure, we can get a shot of that beautiful amazing amazing to work with so yeah I uh, it went really well I was a little bit cold obviously so it's nice to be back in my cozy clothes this warm pink sweatshirt so the plan for today is really just going to be prepping for the afternoon tea tomorrow so in a little bit um, I'm just gonna remove this <clears throat> red lipstick while I'm talking to you. Yeah, so the plan today is we're going to go grocery shopping in a little bit to get all the things. I think we might make the fillings for the tea sandwiches today and make the scones. I might set the table today probably and just kind of like I don't know, tidy things up, get them ready for tomorrow. The afternoon tea birthday thing I'm having tomorrow starts at 11.30, so I want to like get as much done today as I can as possible so that I'm not rushing tomorrow morning. But yeah, Lyle <laughs> just bought me a bacon, egg, and cheese because I have never tried one before. Random fact. It's just a weird thing about me. There's a lot of like basic things that I've never tried. Like I never had a burger. I had a burger for the first time right after Lyle and I got married. I've never had a bacon, egg, and cheese. There's a really long list of things that might surprise you. So yeah, it's time for me to try one <laughs> right now. <laughs> okay, so this is it, right? That's it. Also, there's this sauce. It's called wake up sauce. It's like a little spicy. But... I will say this does smell good. I'm apprehensive. Is this what a normal bacon, egg, and cheese looks like? Um, I mean, I don't know, it's a little zhuzhed up, like, if you go to, like, Bodega and get a bacon, egg, and cheese, you know, it'll be probably a little less fancy, but it's the same core. Okay. Did you get any bacon? Mm -hmm. You're eating it like it's, like, some foreign, like, like you're eating, like, shark fin for the first time. Good, I guess. That's it. 
yeah, it's good. Like, I haven't finished this, I, I think, or at least eat half of it. Alright, try the sauce. But is the sauce spicy? It's not like spicy spicy, it's got like a little kick. Yeah, but I don't like spicy. Yeah, but like, it, it adds something, it's good. <clears throat> Do I just put a little bit on top? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's nice. It is spicy though. This versus burger. <laughs> this versus burger. I have to say the burger. Okay, I'll take that. Because the burger surprised me. There we have it. <laughs> Just got back from our Whole Foods run. We got all of the stuff that we need for the afternoon tea tomorrow. We're making little tea sandwiches. So uh, for the sandwich, we're making tea sandwiches, scones, and then we're gonna have like macaroons and little things on top. So for the sandwiches, we're doing a cucumber sandwich, an egg salad sandwich, and then a smoked salmon sandwich. And then for the scones, we're going to do a plain scone and then raisin, like dried fruit scone. And then, you know, we're just going to buy the macaroons because making, making macaroons is actually very complicated. So yeah, I'm just going to show you quickly. So we got two, oh no, what happened to the bread? I think it's fine. We got two kinds of bread. We have just a classic white bread and then we have the rye bread. The rye bread is for the smoked salmon sandwiches. We got some strawberries just for like, you know, a garnish around. We of course got the smoked salmon. We also needed to get wheat. They didn't have clotted cream. It's really hard to find that here in the US, but they did have whipped butter. So we're gonna use that instead. And of course, some raspberry jam. Also got some buttermilk. I believe that that is for the scones recipe. Some Dijon mustard was needed. An English cucumber, of course. This is a mix of chives, dill, and parsley, which we need various things. Um, some eggs, flour. <laughs> We're just running low on flour. Some yogurt, milk, of course, for the tea, and then we have some sugar. Capers, there's just gonna be a little, one little caper on each. Lemons, cream cheese, raisins, and some mayo, just for the recipe. And yeah, that is everything. Waterade to pick up the macaroons. I'm thinking we'll get all like pink ones, depending on how many shades of pink they get. Might need to get white and maybe green. But we're taking Jeannie with us, and this is the first time that we've taken her on a walk. Besides to the school of dogs and back, really, that's like in Soho. This is Jeannie's first Soho walk. <laughs> oh, so cute.
this is what I've got so far. This is just a fold out table that we have. I'm going to move our coffee table and our ottoman out of this room. But, so it's just a plain white tablecloth and then I found this light pink runner to put on top. So I just ironed both of those and it still has a little bit in it. It was really hard to get out. But it looks much better than it did and I did my best. Um, then I got these two three-tiered plates. So we're going to put the sandwiches, the scones, and then the macaroons. I was deciding between the gold or silver candlesticks. I ended up going with the silver ones because the details on the trays are also silver. And then over here, I'm going to put the cake, and then I might put some of the gold candlesticks around it. These are the beautiful Zara home plates that I got. I just spent all this time taking the stickers off all of them and now I'm going to wash them since we haven't used them yet. They need to be washed. And yeah, then these are gonna go on the table too. Over here I've got, hey Janie. <laughs> Over here I've got the hard boiled eggs, I just boiled them and now, this was ice water but it's melted. You can see like one tiny ice cube floating around. Um, but yeah, so this is in ice water and then I'm going to make the egg salad filling but I'm not gonna put it in the sandwiches yet. I've got the bread over here, white bread, fry bread. So I'm just gonna make the filling tonight and then I will put them in the sandwiches tomorrow so that they don't get soggy. Lyle is working away making the scones. We're making plain and then raisin. And then we also got the macaroons from Lotteria today. I got all pink ones. Oh, it's like shiny. It's like a mirror on the inside. That's really pretty. So just to show you guys. Oh. Oh my gosh. Eee! Yay. So those are going to go on the very top layer. And then this is the little dress that I got for Janie. It is so cute. I love the bow on the back. And yeah, it's just as like this on the front. And then little skirt. I know that this looks really small, but it's going to, it stretches over her. Maybe I'll try it on uh, just to make sure. But yes, Janie has her little afternoon tea pink dress. Ooh. Scones. Ah. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so we made the egg salad, we made the scones, we're getting everything set up. <laughs> so I'm going to open up my birthday presents from Lyle, which I am very, very, very excited about. Ooh. Some of them. Yeah, some of them. So this is it. I actually do already know what this is because when I was talking about wanting to host the afternoon tea, something that's actually always been on my list for a while is a really nice tea set. So, I, I know what this is. I know that this is a tea set, right? Do you think it's a tea set? <laughs> <laughs> it's so pretty. It's even better in person than when I saw it online. So I have been for a long, long, long time, you guys. This is going to be a tea set that Lyle and I have for ever. And so I knew that I wanted something really good. They don't make these anymore, so you have to find it on like replacements.com or eBay or things like that, right? That's where you found them? Uh, replacements, Etsy, eBay, yeah, a bunch of places. Yeah. So, I did a lot of research and I found that I kept seeing over and over again this like Royal Albert Old Country Roses. And the Old Country Roses is a classic tea set style, but I didn't love the Old Country Roses that much, but I, then I realized that Royal Albert has tons of other designs that he's done, that the company has done throughout the years. And I just thought that this one was absolutely beautiful. It's the Dimity Rose. And it's just so dainty and perfect. So this is the teacup. It has around the edges, this like gold foil floral detail 
that's so elegant and then of course it has the white background and then I just love these dainty little pink uh, roses on it or flowers it's just absolutely beautiful and then on the bottom you have to check and I checked and it says Royal Albert Dimity Rose England so the old old ones like the original ones were made in England and then obviously like at one point the company got bought and they were remaking them and then um you know it was different but even like on the inside you can see the rose detail here I just I love this thank you Lyle <laughs> yay okay so that's a teacup oh my gosh it's gonna be so cute there's a second teacup third teacup and fourth teacup oh okay so these it feels like all the plates are in here so this is like under each teacup goes the plate right that's so pretty well I need to take this the stickers off and everything but yeah Royal Albert England so <laughs> it just looks like this and that's so elegant. I love it. Don't you like them? They're really pretty. Yeah. I'm so glad that you like them. Because I actually feel like we can keep this for, like, ever. Because yeah. these are nice. They're really nice. Okay. And then box number two. Little pink bow. Okay, so, and I think that this is the teapot. I hope so. <laughs> oh, stunning. It stunning. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, Sweet. I'm obsessed, thank you. <laughs> yeah, Lyle also did get the cream and the sugar, but it didn't come in in time. There was like something where it got caught up in like an airport somewhere. So yeah, oh, I'm so, I'm so, so, so happy. But yeah, now I'm going to get ready for dinner. And we're gonna go have a beautiful, lovely seafoody, which is my favorite food, <laughs> dinner. All right, all ready for dinner. Just wanted to show you guys my outfit real quick. So I am wearing the white odd muse dress. This is the cap sleeve one. And yeah, I just really like it. I love how the skirt like goes out like this on the sides. And then I am wearing nude colored tights, a classic for me if you've been following this channel for a while. And then some white lace up booties. And uh, yeah, just gonna throw my coat on, grab my bag, Got my red lipstick and these earrings, and good to go. There is a life I lead in this city, hurrying to cut my teeth. I can take what I need to get by. Doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on Put me together, take me back where I belong guys good morning it is my birthday today it's sunday november 24th 2024 and we are just getting ready we've got we just gave Janie a bath this morning she's gonna put her little dress on say hi and we've got let me flip you around so we took out whoops of the room, our coffee table and ottoman. We just put that into the other room. And then 
we're going to assemble all of the couch pillows and everything else but I'm just showing you the progress so far so we've got this all going and took the cake out of the freezer into the fridge yesterday and then this morning I took it out of the fridge to room temperature so then before the party starts I'm going to put it on the cake stand I've got the gold candlesticks over there I got these gold tall candles from Amazon that I'm gonna put on top of the cake we washed all of the teacups and everything for later. And then I am right now just assembling the cucumber sandwiches. This is what they look like so far, just some white bread. And then I made this chive butter that I'm spreading and then chopping the cucumbers. And I've been using this to, it's like a channel knife to make these like pretty little divots in the cucumbers. Lyle also just brought me some flowers so pretty and lyle is also out picking out balloons i am just assembling sandwiches right now he's gonna bring the balloons back and then i'm gonna get ready and my friends are gonna start to arrive they're only gonna be here it's 10 now they're gonna be here in an hour and a half so i need to get going One year older, one, and I cannot sing. Two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Taylor. Happy birthday to you. Make a really good wish. Okay, so the party was so much fun. I don't know how many clips I even got of it, but it was so cute. It was so special to me to have my friends there and to do a little tea. They all really enjoyed the sandwiches and the scones and then the macaroons and then we cut the cake and we all played with Janie. Janie was definitely the center of attention. <laughs> she is so cute and especially in her little dress and all my friends love dogs so it was fun. It was a really 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 nice afternoon. Great birthday. <laughs> um, we did change and have to head out now because we have Janie's doggy training class for puppy kindergarten every Sunday so we're taking her right now we're getting a little bit there a little bit early this week 
on purpose because last time she was just so excited by all the other dogs and all the other smells that it took her a while to calm down and really like focus on the training. So we're thinking if we get her there early this time and she can have time to like sniff around, calm down a little bit, then she'll actually be able to focus on the training. So yeah, she's just so cute. We're just walking her there right now. couch and ending the vlog now but I just wanted to quickly say before we go first thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that you enjoyed spending my birthday weekend with me and also the next time I see you it will be vlogmas so we are doing vlogmas this year so vlogmas in case anyone doesn't know is where i post a video every single day of december leading up to christmas and i go around new york do all the festive things experience all the christmas magic and it's just a fun time to just i don't know be together every single day in december and I'll explain it all and we'll get it all into that when it is Vlogmas. But yeah, so I will see you guys on December 1st. Mark your calendars. It's a Sunday. Make sure that you're subscribed. And we're going to be seeing each other a lot more often very soon. So make sure that you're subscribed for that. Also, check out the Fashion Squirrel as well over in, over on Instagram. I just posted a little cute little birthday reel there, so go check that out. And yeah, I really, really hope that you guys have an amazing week ahead. And I know I've got a really busy work week ahead because it is Cyber Week, so this is my busiest week of the entire year. Wish me luck. But we're going to have fun. We're going to have Vlogmas and so many good things to come so anyways i will see you guys next time okay bye